we're doing Bill's hair today. So you'll need a crochet needle, some styling gel, some hairspray, a brush, like a smoothing brush, a red tail comb for parting, some rubber bands, a scrunchie type deal, and some crochet hair of your choice. So that crochet hair that I just showed you was made by Zuri. It's called Wanda Curl, but you can use whatever curl pattern you want. There's so many different varieties. I'm sure you can find one that will match your daughter's um, hair, like their curl pattern better to make it look more natural. Or you can go for that if you want it to look like, you know, it's been rotted or something like that. You can use that kind. That one was $15 and it comes in three bundles. So you get three bundles for $15 and I bought mine to install in my hair actually and I had that bundle left over and so that's what we're using but if you have like three daughters then you just need one pack and use bundle per child so it's a good deal and they have a lot of other curl patterns that brand so check them out uh, and you know if you don't see anything like I said there's other companies that have different curl patterns that may work better for you so all I'm doing here is just parting the hair, um, just sectioning off with rubber bands just to get some kind of design, you know, at the top. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. It can be, you know, however you desire it, really. Um, I'm trying to do this without braiding because I know a lot of people say that they can't braid, which I don't believe that. You just don't braid. You haven't learned, but, um, you know, anybody can it just takes some time to learn. But anyway, so I'm not going to be um, braiding on this hairstyle. I'm going to be just doing twist. Um, that's pretty easy. And I think a majority of people do know how to do those. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing this entire time. But um, if I was doing it just for us, I would probably like do twist and braids just like to make it look more intricate. So if you already know how to braid, then you know maybe mix it up twist one ponytail then braid the other one and you know like i don't know switch it up and i think it'll make it look a bit more intricate just you know brings a little bit more to the design at the top but however you desire to do it you know is cool now also i want to say that we started out with her hair already detangled and moisturized and conditioned if you have any questions on how to detangle your child's hair i have some videos for that so check out the mixed kids chronicles playlist and it should be in there so that should be there to help you out also um towards the end of this you'll see that we're going to crochet that um braiding hair in on her ponytail and so if you're not familiar with crocheting it's really simple i promise you can do it if you've never done it before and um i have like a complete channel dedicated to just crocheting my own hair so check out those videos it will show you how to crochet i think there's one called tips and tricks something like that that one is way more detailed and then i have one out on different kinds of crochet knots that one will show you how to crochet as well and then as well as my um, several other like installation videos. So check those out if you have more questions on how to crochet. Um, I'm sorry for this video here. Like my son was trying to capture it up close for me. You know, he's a teenager. He's fidgety. So the camera might not be as still. But I hope you can get what you need from this section of the video. But as you see, I'm just twisting the hair. I'm twisting both strands um, individually and then also twisting them around each other if that makes sense so that's the kind of twist that we're doing and you see i kind of slowed it down so you can see and basically we're going to do that to all of the ponytails that's at the top and then we're going to link them all together with a big ponytail and go from there so i feel like this is a great protective style because her hair is going to be like underneath in the bun fully moisturized and out of the way so we don't have to worry about frizz we don't have to worry about her playing in it have to worry about any of that um it should last for hopefully two weeks but this is our first time doing this style 
So, you know, I'll update you on how long it actually is going to last. I'll probably put it on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, please go follow me on Instagram at Shay Love Hair. So you won't miss out on any updates. So I think that's it. I'm probably going to put some music on and let y'all watch the video. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments or inbox me. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace and blessings.